has finally come. This guy finally got his six star awakening and it's not done, it's not over. We are also possibly most likely gonna be getting a mega evolution for this guy as well. And if you look at his stats, they're insanely high for a free to play unit. And that background is just incredible at uh, six stars for Giovanni and Mewtwo. Like it's just so, so good. And this is the first legendary event Pokemon that came out. This is the first legendary event six star that's out now. So it's just insane what they're doing. And uh, like I said, it's possibly not over for Giovanni and Mewtwo because we are most likely going to be getting a Mega Evolution. Because if you log into Pokemon Match Center right now, you can see the title screen change. And that also looks incredible. And uh, you could also see Mega Mewtwo Y. So we are possibly getting, or most likely getting, Mega Mewtwo Y at some point. Probably closer to the climax of the Kanto villain story. Uh, but we'll have to see. But Mewtwo is just insane. Uh, we already know he's able to hit very hard, but now we are going to be showcasing his sync move because he has the AoE effect added to his sync move now. So we will take a look at how he performs over there. Now, we will be looking at how he is with uh, his regular moves. Like we kind of already did like a little showcase on that a while ago. Uh, so there's really no point in going full force on uh, or putting full attention on his uh, uh, regular moves because we've already seen that many times already. Uh, but we're just going to be showcasing his uh, AoE sync because that is the new gimmick with this guy since he just got his 6 star awakening. But we'll go through his whole kit just in case you are new to the game. Uh, we'll just quickly go over it. So he has Confusion which is his one gauge move and then he has Psychic. And he also has Shadow Ball and then he has his trainer move Nowhere to Hide. And it raises his evasiveness by one star rank and raises the critical hit rate by two star rank. So, He's self-sufficient when it comes to crits and evasiveness, but he needs support in order to get his special attack buff off. Uh, and then for his passive, he has power reserve, so like when you get under a certain uh, percentage for your HP, then you're going to get a little bit stronger as well. So that's sort of like a multiplier for him, but you need to be at a certain HP range in order to activate that. And then for the lucky skill, I have Critical Strike 2 on him. And then for the theme skills, I don't have anything leveled up because they're not really too impactful. The only one that's really impactful is the typing one because like when you level it up to the max, like it's going to be plus 30 uh, special and physical attacks. So like strikers will benefit from that. But um, for the most part, like Kanto Strike and all that stuff, like those don't really matter. Unless you have other synchros on the team that can activate more of these. Because obviously if you have a lot of them active, then it will make a difference. And then for his grid, this is what I have for his Psychic build. I have uh, Confusion Power 4, because whatever, why not? <laughs> uh, and then we have Psychic Power Ups along with Critical Strike 3. And then we have Brain Teaser, and then we have Mood Gauge Refresh on Psychic along with Honor Roll for Psychic as well, so that we can have the effect of lowering the special defense of the enemy so that we can do a little bit more damage as time goes on. So that's Mewtwo's kit right there, and he is at level 140 because he's definitely one of the synchros I wanted to get us uh, to level 140 because we did uh, know that he um, will be getting level 140 in the future because like with the level cap, every synchro will be at some point. But enough talk, this is going to be the team that we're going to be running with, and we're going to be going up against the Kanto Trio just because Leaf is going to be weak to Psychic, and there's really no stage at the moment that is fully weak to Psychic, so... We're just going to have to make do of uh, certain stages that are partially weak to Psychic. But this is the team that we're going to be rocking with. And uh, obviously we're going to be running Musharna here and Bianca just because of that Psychic terrain. So Mewtwo is going to be getting a massive buff from that. And then we have Elisa here with Rotom just so we can increase our uh, special attack. Along with uh, lowering our Sync Move countdown as well. So that we can see his Sync Move a little bit faster. So let's go into the battle and see how he is with his Sync Move. Um, and with his like special attack being really high already, once he mega evolves, his special attack stat is going to be going even higher. So he's going to be closer to 600 special attack, and he's just going to be doing an insane amount of damage. So let's just increase our stuff right here, um, and then uh, we'll go from here and uh, see what the damage he can do. Uh, now, against Charizard and Blasters, of course, he's not going to be super effective just because uh, they're not weak to Psychic. Uh, so we're just gonna have to sort of stall out and uh, wait to use our sync move against uh, Venusaur just so we can kind of uh, uh, see the damage on that. But I'm expecting over 10,000 damage 
Uh, I might be over exaggerating it, but we will have psychic terrain active as well. So it mo it really is possible for us to reach uh, 10,000 on uh, a sick move for Mewtwo like right off the bat. So uh, we're going to pop psychic terrain right after we use the training move for Bianco over here. And after we do that, we will be able to go right into our sync move. And uh, so he's doing like how much? 2,000 damage, not in psychic terrain when he's at plus four special attack. So it's not bad. Obviously, if he's at uh, plus six and then in Psychic Terrain, he's going to be doing way more damage. But uh, but yeah, here we go. Psychic Terrain is up and then we're going to be going in with our Sync move. And against Venusaur, how much is this going to do? I'm expecting 10,000 minimum. Uh, but we are only plus four on our special attack. But um, <laughs> 12,000 damage on our Sync move against uh, Venusaur. Our first Sync move. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's definitely good. And then we're doing basically 4,000 damage after a sync move against uh, Blastoise when we're not super effective. So yeah, Mewtwo is definitely really strong. <laughs> He's strong. Um, but also taking into consideration that we are against a stage that is not like... Um, sorry about that. My No, my Apple Watch is going off right now. Like, stop messaging me. I forgot to turn that off. Jeez. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah. Mewtwo is just insane. Uh, like, plus four special attack, and he's already doing 12,000 damage against a Venusaur on a sync move. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. Uh, but again, like I said, like I was saying before, my notifications started going off. Um, this stage is only level 100, so just take that into consideration. So if you're going into a stage that is level 130, you might be doing a little bit less damage, but. That's not excusing the fact that Mewtwo is still going to be hitting extremely hard, especially when you have the new Red and Snorlax on the team that's going to be allowing you to be super effective, like having that super effective next effect. Uh, Mewtwo is going to be doing so much more damage. So, uh, But let's actually go into... Um, actually, I don't know if uh, Venusaur is going to survive a sync move. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is hmm this is gonna be tough to do because Mewtwo is not self-sufficient uh so like self-sufficient with special attack and I want to have Blastoise in so we can see the damage he's gonna do when we have a uh, hundred percent sync buff instead of the first sync buff that Mewtwo is getting um hmm. okay you know what? I'm gonna pause it here and then I'll see you guys in one sec all right so it as I was going through like the teams and everything, I I felt like it was going to be a little bit difficult to, to get Psychic Terrain off and uh, getting our special attack to the max while trying to get uh, our 100% um, uh, Sync buff. Because I don't have any other uh, Psychic type uh, Sync pairs support that are 6 stars. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to get that off. So what we're going to do here is have Blue on the team, get him to Sync move, and then we're going to use uh, Psychic and see how much damage he's going to do. Um, it might be a little bit difficult. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have Rotom on the team. If we don't get MP refresh on our uh, X special attack, then that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be easier to get off our sync move after uh, Blaster says because of breathtaking. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try this out. Uh, we're gonna use blue sync move first so we can get the uh, two times two on our sync move buff with Blastoise and then we're gonna start uh, getting ready for uh, Mewtwo sync after Blastoise so that's what we're gonna do but Giovanni's uh, outfit is actually really damn cool and uh, it's just like it matches Mewtwo completely like obviously like when you six star your sync bears and uh, the trainer uh, goes to the six star outfit they are gonna have their outfit to match the the sync pair or the Pokemon so like that's that part is really cool and I do really like that um, so hopefully Hopefully, 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 we get uh, MP refresh on our uh, special attack all for Rotom, just so we can be at plus six. But if not, then that's fine, I guess. And we don't. Okay, yeah, that was to be expected, but whatever. What can you do? Uh, sometimes you get lucky, and then sometimes you don't, so it's whatever. Um, but here we go. We're going to get our uh, plus two sync buff. And uh, we were seeing Mewtwo do like 2,000 damage at plus four special attack um, against Charizard before. So now like after we get this plus two sync move buff, uh, he's probably gonna jump up to about 4,000, which is gonna be good. 
and then uh, we're gonna start using our breathtaking and then uh, work our way up to getting Mewtwo to sync move so that we can see how much damage he's gonna do against uh, Venusaur cuz uh, yeah, because with him having AoE, uh, him being super effective now with the uh, AoE sync is just going to be insane. So I'm probably just going to be uh, uh, attacking with Blasters right here and uh, Rotom just because if we were to continue attacking Mewtwo, we're not going to be able to see his sync move again. <laughs> so uh, we will just sort of stall out with Blastoise and Rotom just for now. Uh, with their one gauge move just because it's gonna be a, a lot better that way I guess but um, but yeah Mewtwo being the first legendary event Pokemon to get a six star awakening is huge because now we know other sync pairs uh, other legendary event Pokemon will be getting their six star awakening in the future as well uh, and I think the next one in line is actually gonna be Solgaleo and he's gonna be a big one too so that's gonna be very very awesome I guess uh, because so Galio is with our actual trainer so it's gonna be cool to see our trainer with a different colored outfit and a six star outfit too but how much is this gonna do almost 20,000 damage and that's not even in psychic terrain too so if that was in psychic terrain he would have been over 23,000 damage on a sync move so Mewtwo is definitely insane and again I cannot stress this enough Mewtwo is going to be getting a, uh, a mega evolution as well so he will be doing way way more damage because like look at his special attack 520 and we were not even at plus six special attack throughout both of the battles that we did with Mewtwo so <laughs> that easily could have been a 20,000 damage after um, uh, the safe move that we just did so Mewtwo's definitely insane. He's busted. I would still say he's busted. <laughs> he's really, really good. And the special attack, uh, speed, it's just insane. Mewtwo is insane. And when he does Mega Evolve, I can possibly see a moveset change a little bit. Like he can maybe get Side Strike or something like that because he is a special attacker. So when he goes to Mega Mewtwo Y, which is a special attacker, we can probably see Side Strike or some other move that uh, Mewtwo will get. Uh, because like confusion is just pretty pointless it's stupid like I, I I don't know why they gave him this but at the time like that was probably fine uh, because like other events were not like as strong because when Mewtwo came out he was like literally the best thing for in the game um, until like red came out so uh, but yeah like Mewtwo overall is insane and now with him getting a six star awakening with AoE sync is freaking awesome and he's just much more overpowered now <laughs> and then with him getting a mega evolution in like maybe a month or so um he's just gonna become even more insane but uh, let me know what you guys think of Mewtwo in the comments below um like just overall with their sync pure card like with how everything looks it's just really really cool um with uh, the card effect in the background at six stars with uh, the psychic effect uh, popping in like i don't know why it's not doing it now but uh, but yeah, like overall Mewtwo and Giovanni, they look awesome. Uh, they're a lot of fun to use. Um, and uh, we're getting a Mega Evolution with them too. So <laughs> have fun with them now because then when their Mega Evolution comes, you're going to have even more fun. But like I said, let me know what you guys think of Mewtwo in the comments below. That's going to be it with this video and I will see you guys later.